Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Rich Delaney. I'm the president of the Center for Coastal Studies, and I bring you greetings and well wishes from the staff there. Um, we hope everyone is faring well and navigating these troubled times safely and soundly. Uh, I just want to assure you, we at the center are carrying out our responsibility and our work uh, as always, but remotely and safely. Uh, our mission is to conserve and protect the oceans and the coastline, and that's a, a mission that we never stop thinking about any day of the week, any day of the year. I hope that uh, during the next few weeks, I'll be able to visit with you, perhaps weekly, and bring some news about that wide-ranging activities that we do that uh, extend from protecting water quality to uh, saving endangered species and helping towns prepare for sea level rise and a whole raft of other issues, all of which are really meant to be uh, solutions to issues and threats that face the coastline. We like to say, in fact, that the work we do or the science we do is science that matters, science that helps bring solutions to problems that we, not only in coastal towns, but throughout the country uh, are facing. But today I'd like to focus particularly on one aspect of that work, and that's our marine debris program, uh, where we hit work with fishermen to identify gear uh, in the ocean that has been lost or, 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 or misplaced. And we use our high, highly sophisticated uh, sonar, side scan sonar, to locate the gear, first of all, and then working with our fishing partners, go out and retrieve some of that gear to get it out of the ocean. And when it comes out of the ocean, it's all actually recycled into fuel for one of our power plants. So it's a win-win situation. And so there are two exciting opportunities coming up, uh, both in conjunction with Earth Day, uh, which is going to happen next Wednesday, April 22nd. By the way, it will be the 50th anniversary of that important date. But one uh, very nice opportunity, and we'd invite you all to be part of it, is being put together by our Marine Debris Coordinator, named Laura Ludwig, and it's called a Virtual Actual Beach Cleanup. Kind of a clever idea. It uh, means like so much of what we're doing today, we really need to do this virtually, but in this case, we mean separately and, safe, uh, and safely on a beach or an area near you, a roadway, or maybe a, a stream, uh, all of the waterways, whether they be drainage, ditches off the side of the highway, eventually bring trash to our beaches often. And so uh, this idea is that uh, you would go out, um, find some place that you feel comfortable, wear your gloves and your mask, do a beach, be, do a cleanup, and take a photograph of yourself doing it. And email it back to Laura at the Center for Coastal Studies at coastalstudies.org. And we will assemble the collection of virtual but actual beach cleanup that's going on. And uh, it'll be a nice way to, to celebrate Earth Day, but also be a way to participate safely uh, given the uh, extenuating circumstances that we're under. And then if you can't do that, or in addition to doing that, uh, Jesse Meckling, who is our education director, has teamed up with a, a group called uh, Care for Cape and the Islands. And they're doing a similar thing. And they're asking people to go out and spend 16 minutes and 20 seconds each month doing cleanups. Uh, and the 1620 is kind of a way to, to commemorate the 1620, 400th anniversary of when the pilgrims arrived in the new world. So uh, two, two opportunities uh, to act physically get out of the house, number one, which I think a lot of people are probably antsy and ready to do, but also do a, a constructive thing. And all of this is of course meant to bring attention to the larger problem of trash and ocean and plastic, uh, plastic pollution in our oceans, one of the emerging issues that we need to deal with and that the center does with its, its science. Thank you very much for, uh, for joining me today in this dark side chat. I hope uh, you will find our work interesting and, we, and worth continuing to support us as you have in the past. We have a wide range of friends and members and we love to have more of you join us in all of these efforts. Uh, next week, if you can join me again at the same time, I'd like to share the work that we're doing with our geology department in creating what a, a very creative program called Storm Tide Pathways, an effort to help local towns prepare for the inevitable increased flooding 
and storm damage that will be coming as sea level rises as a result of climate change. Again, a very practical, hopefully finding practical solutions to issues that are affecting our coasts and oceans. So thank you, stay safe, see you next time. Mm -hmm.